hello guys welcome back to my channel today you're going to be learning how to draft a princess that bustier with this you'll be able to cut your bustier which will be in the next video so kindly watch and learn how i've gone ahead to give it shape just as it looks so endeavor to watch my previous video on how to draft the basic bodies you so you would understand what i've done to this extent so just watch this video so you'll be able to cut your bust here so what i want to do right now is basically to give my body small shape, shape. following the dart line i'm going to be drawing the bust the shape of the bust so that i will go ahead and give it shape to form that bust cup like that and that our bust sits in so just to give that princess that shape at the bust area so this is going to be a shoulder princess that so that is we're going to be extending into the that area at the shoulder area just like you've seen so right now i'm just drawing my bust and make enhancing my bust and making it look defined so so this basically is called a princess that i can't really call this a bustier because this is a princess that so for a bustier i'm gonna go ahead to shape it on this point so i'm gonna shape it as much as i want it so the more shaping i give it on this side of the bust that is what gives us our bust here so i'm gonna go ahead right now and mark remember on this line we have like um 2 cm right and this line we also have 2 cm so what i'm going to do now is to deduct from here i'm going to deduct from here i'm going to use deduct 1 cm so i'm going to add that 1 cm back to this one so depending on how shaped you want it to be but for this illustration i'm just going to be deducting one don't want this whole thing to be too um dirty because of the mark i'm using but if you want it really small you can go ahead and divide it and deduct like one and a half from here so if i'm deducting one and a half from here if i'm deducting one and a half it's gonna means this is the marking i'm gonna deduct one and a half and I'm going to put it back here. Whatever you are deducting on this side, you are putting them back there. And that's what makes your bust here really fit. So let's just do it since I've done that. So I've deducted my one and a half there, right? So I'm going <coughs> to make a new connection here. I'm going to make a new connection here. That is mark this back to this, this new line. And I'm going to connect it to this. Yeah. So this is the new that we'll be using for this side. Right? This is like this. Yeah. So this, we won't be using this again. We won't be using this again. That's because I'm going to take it from the side so i've added it here i'm going to connect it back to this dark leg i'm going to use my curve to connect this like so on this dark leg on top i'm going to connect it like so So make sure when you are doing this, you use you staying in you're standing in a place where you can see it well, so you don't give it a very nasty shape. So I'm still gonna be using this line to draw it. I'm not just gonna draw it out of the blues. I'm still gonna be following this dart line, this line all the way. I'm taking my pattern from most almost I still try as much as possible to follow what I have very close to this place. So you can see this is still the starting point of that which i'm trying to start from yeah so so that is it so this is our bust here right now 
So I'm going to be cutting out this side, right? So I'm going to be cutting out this side, like so. This side, like so. And I'm going to come, oh, go up. I follow this curve I drew earlier. This curve. I'll come up a little bit if you want. I'm going to have to do that. Go up. So, if you want a an arm o princess that's bust here, we deduct, we mark what we have here, which we've already done here. So, it depends on the style you want. You can just come straight, connect to this line, or curve it out. So, that'll be your arm o princess that. Which I'm gonna, which I'm just gonna show you, like so. Just take your pattern curve and connect it back to this that leg. So if you want to maintain this line, this is your shoulder that princess that bust here. So this is called the shoulder that. So if we're gonna be drawing it from this angle, that's a princess. That's an uh, an arm o princess that. So depending, you can draw it like so. You can bring it down. Depending on how you want, you see some people coming all the way like like this. That is, they draw it all the way like this. Some people come like that. So it all depends on the style you want to recreate. Everything has to do with what you want to recreate, right? So there's no one way to do it all. You just have to be creative, basically. So I'm just going to leave this as it is. And so remember, I'm going to be cutting. From here like this I remember this one this one that I marked to starting here anything you cut here just make sure it's identical so that by the time you are sewing it it doesn't look somehow so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I'm going to trace this onto another paper so the advantage of using a of using a paper of the advantage of pattern drafting is that as it is you can keep it and take another paper and trace whatever you've done here undone it so guys I'm go I've gone ahead to put another paper underneath it so I'll show you the process of um, tracing it onto another paper so you don't need to tear this particular one I've gone ahead to ensure that the paper is equal and I've pinned it down carefully. So, taking my tracing wheel, I'm going to start from the waistline. So I'm going to trace from this place here and trace like so. Just watch me, please. So, I trace what I need. I need the shaped bodies right now, so that is what I'm cutting out. If you need the unshaped bodies, you trace that out. So, like I said, I need the shaped part of this. So I've gone ahead to trace like so. So that's what I'm gonna be tracing. So I've gone trace like so. Now so trace the neck. Now trace the shoulder. Yeah, and that's it. So, so the next thing I'm marking now is my darts, because I need to give it shape, right? So I still need my darts. If you don't mark your darts, you won't be able to give it shape, except you have to calculate it again, which would obviously be wasting time. So just ensure you trace it out carefully, like so. So I've gone ahead to trace all what I, all what I need here. So if you want to give um, the back, if you want to do this um, um, princess darts at the back, just take your curve and then put your the pattern curve inside this line, this darts line, and just connect it whichever design you want. Depending on how you want it, just connect it to this dart line and you have your princess dart at the back. You can even connect it up. If you want it to be that type that comes all the way from up, 
can even make it straight that is using a straight ruler yeah just use your straight ruler and connect it depending on what you want this so that is if you want princess that at the back if you want to do a slashed style so if you want to do a slash style as well down you need to extend this dart line so that you drawing your slash would be easier or you just connect it to it and extend your length basically so i've gone ahead to trace what i need here so i'm going to go to the front and trace as well shaped part so that is why i just trace right i'm gonna have to trace the arm over as well i'm gonna have to trace the okay i've not i'm gonna trace the shoulder now yeah I've trace the shoulder i'm gonna trace all this as well tracing the neck now Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and trace the dots as well. Yeah, so that's our dots. And I'm going to continue down. Yeah, and trace all my dart lines for the fitted style. So if you are seeing a simple straight, a, a simple gown that just need the basic dart it came with, just trace that as well. But since I want to do a princess dart bust here, yeah. I will trace what I what I went I what I did before the style line I created. I'm gonna go ahead to trace that. That is what I need right now. So, like I said, this is it's just the upper part I need, so I don't need to trace it to the down part. So that's basically how you trace onto your another paper. So, and like I said, if you need, if you need a, if it's a one piece dress, just continue the tracing here. So.
guys this is the finished look and as you can see i'm gonna have to retrace it to trace the down part of the pattern as well because i want it to be a dress so if it is a one piece dress you have to do like i did trace the upper part and trace the lower part